Hello guys, today we're playing Kane against who knows, we'll find out. When uh, you play, ch you choose Kane when there's um, a lot of AP on your team, or a decent amount, Will so you can actually do something. Probably not. You really want to um, look for lanes that have a lot of CC, because you don't provide CC in ganks, you just provide the damage and the slows. And that's, that's Kane. That's why he doesn't work in pro play. One of the advantages that Kane has is he can walk through walls, which provides him a lot of gank pass that other junglers can't have. Such like Zac can uh, E over walls that people can't see if they don't have wars there. So champs like those, like Zac and stuff, have advantages. While Kane can walk through walls, which is another advantage. His only disadvantage is that he cannot he cannot stun anybody unless he has his red form. And he's 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 really reliant on laying spells. If you don't land spells you won't be able to do as much damage as you want. Their team looks really real squishy. So what I would do is go Dark Harvest into this. I would rather take Relentless Hunter rather than Ravenous Hunter is because their team has a lot of, I guess, squishies. So you don't really fight as long, so you don't take Ravenous Hunter because you'll probably one shot them all the time. You can take Triumph in that, or you can take Speed. You just risk each one. I'm pretty sure this is a Tilia jungle. So I'm gonna, I'm, I need to match against, so I need to take this for speed. It's riskier than Triumph and Coupe de Grasse, but it's more worth in the early game. So, these are the runes. Since we have a lot of, um, we have a really good team comp. We have a tank, hyper carries, two hyper carries, one AD, one AP. <clears throat> Assassin and then Healer, which is good. Their team counts full of assassins. And to avoid beating to be assassins you need some sort of I guess defensive item. If I can say that. Yeah, defensive item. Kali and Mundo matchup, probably a loss for Mundo. So you wanna really look for gank if a Kali's pushed up. Talia vs Kane. Talia and Kane have decent amount of. They have Kane outclears her faster, but she her ganks are better if she lands everything. Zen, Victor even matchup depends on how much skill shots they land and how much he punishes Zed for being a melee champ. Twitch and if you lose, this is a this is a for sure a losing lane. There's no way Bot will Twitch and Soraka will beat the field lose and Swain unless. They really misplay ball in because Soraka's a poke healer where she just pokes people out. But these guys have um, CC and everything else, and they just out damage Twitch and Soraka with their pokes and their, their damage. But early game's way better than theirs because they have they have two assassins, and Talia also is one of the. I guess mid game champs where like you, you just burst them out and then you just don't do anything after that. And you're way too mana hungry later in the game. So you need your blue buff. And if we get a lead on them, they, they basically lose. Zed took fleet for work for some reason. I do not know why. Maybe he wants to farm against Victor. That's his plan. But with fleet for work, he gives up his uh, one shot potential, which is really important when you're playing Zed. So what I would do is ward this, back off, go to your right side. You usually want to do this. Just check if Talia is gonna, I guess, invade your jungle or try to take one of your stuff. Ping that Mundo that you're coming here, so he knows. I'll reach the hit by the time it spawns. That's cool. So since I'm pathing here, most likely I'll go butt. That's why I path up top. 
Otherwise, I would just still go blue. Blue is better. No, no, actually, good at the moment. It's not. It's not better. It's the same. That's the red side now. Since Grump is buffed, but red buff is still more valuable than blue buff. I want to kite a little. Get E second so you can heal up. You want to kite this camp too. These um, this hunt, hunt, hunter's talisman is really good when it comes to um, healing up. Crux is going to be like your first crux is going to be your most, I guess, hurt. The hardest, the hardest clear. It's going to make t make you take the most damage out of all the camps. Raptors will heal you the most. You don't really want to look for um, early invades just because Kane is like a mediocre champ when it comes to early game. He's he's more better when you I guess he's better when you get your form or gets ahead of uh, the other enemy jungler. That's when he becomes a, a really strong champ. So for Kane, you want to actually full clear. You do not want to take too much damage from the buffs. My smite's about to be up, so you smite on this. You usually want to save your smite on these camps like Grump and Blue. These com these camps will hurt Kane the most since it's also Krugs, but in the early game Krugs because it clears AOE and these are some target clear camps. Usually, next time you would want to save your smite for the the risk alert in case Tilly is trying to contest you. So Twitch and Soraka splitting, that's really surprising. And we see Tilia right there. So we path towards we path towards mid because we know. So I waited for my for her thing to disappear because I knew that once if I dash there I would take too much damage and Zed would kill me. And since it's flesh, they're in a very bad spot. And I'm coming. That is a little bit unlucky, but I expected that to happen. It was a bad misplay by me, but um, we still get the lead, which is good. Now you want to path towards bot side again so you can get the blue form. Since my blue form is already half. Uh, ganking top will help a little, but it won't help as much. Especially when it comes to um, getting your form and how useful you snowball your lead. But I'll try my best since the wave is pushing up. This is not good at all. <coughs> She ard, which is really good. Mundo got poked that too hard. It's all right. Akali ard and flush. So that misplay top will hurt bot lane a lot. So now you try to want to look to try to actually come back and try to help him help bot again. That's not good top sweating. Top's getting chunked out a lot. So now you want to gain top. <clears throat> 100%. No, it's not in push up. This is the part I like best. The anticipation. No, it's the healing. Well 
played, well played. Pushing the way for Mundo. Back off. Wait for red. See if there's check for Skuller. There's no Skuller. So you go straight to red. Once you go straight to red, try to uh, clear again. Once again. And then we go to the bot and try to help it snowball again. We're trying to help it stay even, I guess. Because they're doing a good job pressuring their lands and winning CS, even though. Aphelios and Swain should be winning. Oh, okay. Tilly's playing smart. Mullins losing a bit. But that is fair. I did give one kill to Aphelios and gave him a BS sword. But it is what it is. I get blue form. I get blue form from that. So it's 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 kinda risky that um a few deals gets another kill. But it benefits me also because I get blue form. Now I'll just snowball ahead of see see how uh, Tilia has made no ganks except for mid. And she's still level five. Because she can't outwave clear me. Now she made one successful game. Now I'm coming straight right here. She, I know for sure she's gonna be right there. There's no way she wouldn't be. So I'll catch her out while she's in the middle. Oh, never mind. She should twitch. I don't know why she stayed. Twitch. That's interesting. She should be able to blue. Or try to take my blue. That benefits her though because. She didn't get killed. Since Zed doesn't have. That was kind of bad for mid lane because I cleared half his wave. But it's good for me because I get the XP, I guess. So secondly, you want to max W. So you need the damage. Usually you want to put three points into Q and then go W, but I like one like this better. So mid doesn't have priority, so I have to watch out. Staying right here. I know Atelier is coming soon. Could have just smite, but I wanted to keep it. In case Akali comes. Watch out. An ally watch out for bot lane. Try to help them. Straight to Krugs. Maybe I should have done Raptors and then Krugs and then back.
I'll try to gank mid again if he, if he gets greedy. Looks like I have to just clear. I should really help bot right now. I'm really ahead of the uh, enemy jungler. Really, really ahead. This advantage is crazy. Bot lane's, uh, top lane's in the lead now, so I don't need to gank that anymore. Well, I mean, I can still just try to snowball, <clears throat> try to snowball really hard. But the issue is, I need to help my bot before this becomes like nothing. Like the lane doesn't work. All right, try to get Zed, if possible. Once again, that's a full combo. Now you go try to punish. Oh, I punished her really hard. I punish her extremely hard. So unlucky how Kali's there, but whatever. Whatever, man. Unlucky, unlucky. I guess at least we get turret. Oh my gosh, that's that's unlucky. So this game, I would probably most likely go Merc Treads. In case, unless I snowball. So since since Victor's game of blue, I go straight to here. There's no point of me going down bot lane just to get grunt. That's that's really pointless. Go with Krugs actually. Krugs and then put path down. If possible, I do not want to. Any top's not a good idea. Just because Akali is probably not going to be there, and also it's too risky for me with my clear. I'm I'm the way too ahead of Talia. Like, there's no like like I'm four levels ahead. There's no way she can even like play the game without crying. Pick that more walk over there, but I'm actually gonna go to this side once again. Look for a catch off the Talia. Just be patient, don't just be patient. That's all you have to do. Now she has no uh, nothing to clear top lane. See how good it is to um, leave bot lane, even though it's like it's like losing a lot. Just leave it. Bot lane's losing. I can't help him because remember what happened last time. It's like impossible to even try to help them. It's at this point where it can't be helped. Alright, I'm gonna try to go bot now.
you flush. Catch the Leah out. If I catch the Leah out, we win. For now, boom. Catch her out. Get dragon. Let's start winning the game. Simple as that. So. Infernals, like one of the best for Kane in the old days, but now it's it's, it's decent because you look, you get less walls, and Kane needs more walls. Blue Kane at least, oh red Kane also. But it's kind of disadvantage, but for Assassin form, it's better than red form because you get the AD that you need from the buff, and you it it's it's bad for like one, but if you stack it, it's better. And you get the, um, once you get the soul, you can legit delete the AD carries so easily, which is really nice. So one of the flaws that I have this game is because, is that I did not take referral at all. Like, it'd be so good taking referral at any time. And another disadvantage is I'm taking a referral while the team is fighting, which is really bad also. I catch them off guard, I get to kill both of them. We played, we played. Now I punish once again. And we're back. That was bad referral. I meant to sweep so I can actually go in, but I I couldn't. So a bit of misplay, but it is what it is. If you're really thinking greedy, go um, hit your knight. Really good. You don't need the other item because. You don't really. You have dust plate and you have sweeper. There's no. There's no point of getting that. It's a really cheap item, but you don't need it. I really want this blue, but I'll get to the way later. Sorry, I have the kills. Now I look off picks, like right now. <laughs> this is really bad. That was really bad. Just because I kind of played that badly, but it is what it is. It is what it is. So last item, I would probably get. Since most of their carries are 80, since Kali is falling behind and stuff, and I have my turrets and I'm pretty good, I'll probably go GA. GA is probably the best choice. I do not want to give out another shutdown gold. I have a 600 shutdown gold right now. 
so we gotta play safe. That was a really bad play, even though I look for a kill, and almost two, it, it was really bad. It was really bad, yeah. Send her straight down and go to, who was it? I think Akalai? Aphelios, oh that's even worse. Aphelios, you don't, that's the only one I don't want to give it to. Because he can actually hard carry the game. Because if I give it to Talia or... I guess, I guess... Aphelios is like, one of the good ones because if I want to shut him, I basically just get a vintage. No, 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 no. I need, I need to somehow catch him off guard. Ooh, thank you. We'll play too. Now I just want to look for punish again. Punish them. Make them get out of the lead. There's, there's a word. You do really. If they check this bit, this bit really helps you when it comes to voids. It's very beneficial. Clea should be right here. Catches like those and just tilt her. She's like really tilted right now. Just kill and repeat and then just snowball. Right now, five levels above her and she's like very tilted at this point. That's really bad word. It shouldn't be there. If you let's get cocky and walk up, I can kill him instantly. Really nice if we get a catch off here. I'm wasting a bit too much time. This is a really good spot. They would never, never expect it here. That's bad. That was really bad. Since we did not get anything, I wasted so much time. They're just catching up this point you do not want them to catch up because they they gain more advantages because they were behind and they're just farming up while we're just like just wasting time not trying to snowball off their lead our lead which sucks now we just look for farm again No. 
Not every battle is a fight. Everything begins with purpose. I was hiding. <laughs> All right, now we go just get dragon. Alright, we won that. Alright, we just... I don't know why our team's not getting Baron. Or whatever. Now I'm full built, I can bases just run on them. I still need to be careful though. Because if I still throw my lead, it'll be a flip. It'll be a coin flip. Whether we lose. Usually when you're ahead, you do not want to touch your, 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 your side of the jungle. It's just not good. Touch the enemy jungle because you benefit yourself, and while denying the enemy at the same time, so they just get see see how he's four levels behind me for like the whole game. He's just I denied him way too much. I don't know why he picked. I'm just so ahead at this point, I just one shot. GG. Alright guys, that is the wrap up for our tutorial in the game, Kane gameplay. He's a very strong champ. <laughs> 
when he gets ahead. Of course, blue form is OP. And thank you guys for watching.